Welcome back everyone. I got some more news regarding Pokin Tournament. It's nothing too big as in terms of the actual development cycle, but it's basically just um, some word that's actually going around with it. And it is that Pokin Tournament has strict development guidelines. Now we all know this is going to be the case you know we've got a third party to create a pokemon game so obviously the pokemon company is going to have a lot of rules saying what you can and can't do with the characters that's not you know a bad thing even with my ips if i were to give somebody else you know development rights for whatever they want to do with it i would still tell them like here's a list of things that you can do with the character there's a list of things that you can't do with the characters but I will try to work with the developer as close as I can so I don't take away anything from their their creative freedom because as an artist myself that's the one thing I like I love creative freedom to be able to do what I want with whatever characters that I'm working with as long as I don't do it in a way to like um, disgrace the character that the um, copyright holder like owns for the most part but here um the developers harada you know they're saying you know we have really strict guidelines and we have to obey a lot of rules now this can be a problem because if you look at you know the game smashes or at least smash for super smash brothers melee is probably the most compared with smash game in the series brawl took melee and watered it down so it was really slow and defensive and Smash 4, from my own perspective, I'll be doing a review on that too as well. But that game is not as slow as Brawl, but it's still slow enough and it's way too defensive. They took all of the competitive elements from the game and wore them down. I don't want Pokemon Tournament to suffer that same fate where they just take Tekken and water it down to like a game to where anybody can pick up and play and no matter who you play that person can still win if they turtle long enough I guess is the best way to describe that um, Bandai Namco says they had 20 ideas for the game it doesn't say you know over 20 or at least 20 they said they sent 20 ideas for what Pokemon tournament could actually be like and actually surprisingly um the pokemon company said okay to 19 of the 20 ideas which is probably that's a that's a big deal because whenever i send out requests to get help on certain projects i'll ask like you know 20 30 people but i'll only get like four of them that will say yes i'm gonna help you with your with your request so i send out bulk requests like that in the hopes to get like maybe four or five but they sent out 20 and got the yes for 19 of them however the one that they um is described as immediately like shot down like as soon as they read it they was like no um was the idea of having the pokemon trainers actually fight in the game as well it's funny because they say we suggested that we have different Pokemon trainers fight and they immediately denied it. So we all know something like that isn't going to happen because we obviously can't have trainers beating up on Pokemon. It'd be a cool concept. I wouldn't mind seeing it. But for Pokemon tournament, you know, we only care about the Pokemon fighting. That's what we want. Now, if they wanted to make a separate Pokemon game where they only have the trainers in the game and they have them fight that might be a different story but at the same time it might be a no because you've got 10 year old you know boys and girls fighting possible crime leaders for their syndicate so that probably will never happen but i have an idea where i want to make a game where you have all of the bosses from the pokemon games in one fighting game put them in a te um like a tekken like engine and just have them fight it'd be something cool just for fans and you know nothing too serious just be like okay this is actually pretty cool but that's basically the um one idea that they told them no you can't do is just to have the trainers fight now 
if you're saying it's like well they have 19 other ideas that they okay it's like yeah they do but they don't actually talk about what it is i am actually very curious to see what those other 19 ideas are because we don't know what it is this has a potential to be a good game and we, we, we just want to know like there's no information out on this game yet we see um like a tech trailer and we get a screenshot like a year before that but we don't see anything like a health bar or the way that anything will take damage we can probably assume that it is going to be a health bar because Pokemon games deal with health and the Tekken games also have a health bar as well. But we could see something uh, like an endurance meter or something where the Pokemon gets too tired during a the fight. They just, you know, that person loses. Or we could see a percent um, uh, meter as well, kind of like it is in Smash. But it's probably going to be health, but I expected to see, you know, something by now um, for that. And it's actually kind of odd for the Pokemon company not to be talking about it. Like, this here is the next big evolution I feel Pokemon is, is going through right now, is having a fighting game. And they're not talking about it. I expected to hear something about this, kind of like Super Smash Brothers. Because even if you do look at Super Smash Brothers, if they were to take that game, remove every character from the game except Pokemon characters and just add Pokemon characters to the game, you would have a really nice Pokemon fighter. It would be um it would be a subset of Super Smash Brothers since it'll be running the same engine, but it'll function as a Pokemon game. And if you've played the game, which I'm sure most of you have, and you play the Pokemon characters, they have fully fledged movesets and they're they're fun to watch. So we can see something like that in an actual Pokemon fighting game that was inspired on Tekken. That's like, I can't even describe how, how that would like, like, it'll be like, I guess, watching the Avengers for the first time. And you're like, this is cool. Like, this game has that potential. It's like, they have a Pokemon fighting game based on Tekken, developed by Namco Bandai. In, a, in, in like a layman's person's like mind, you'd be saying to yourself, how could anything go wrong with this? And nothing should go wrong with this but at the end of the day you got to realize this is also nintendo we're talking about nintendo doesn't like the competitive scene you know they've tried several times to get super smash brothers removed from evo just because they don't want their game to be seen as a competitive fighter they even said their self that this isn't a fighting game it's a party game but you have to look at it for what it is it's a fighting game and it has a large competitive following so why would you water the game down if you look at super street fighter if you look at marvel vs. capcom and those games they've kept the exact same engine the exact same characters and um it's matter like move sets and stuff but they updated the characters balanced the characters and perfected the engine so they're basically just taking what they did last time making a new game based on that adding balances um, making updates to the engine so it plays better and stuff like that you know they're not doing that with smash games they build them from the ground up every single time and they're like okay so instead of having the wave dashing and stuff like that in the game we're just going to remove all of that so when they remove that stuff they have to completely rebuild the engine because um the way what air that or the air dodge worked in melee was it instantly stopped you but you had the ability to air dodge in a certain direction that you wanted. So certain characters with different physics were able to take that momentum from the air air dodge and do what they call a wave dash if you do it low enough to the ground and do it fast enough. They completely removed that. So fundamentally, they're rebuilding the entire engine from the ground up. I don't think that's the correct way to tackle games. It just makes the development process even longer. It's um same thing with the new Mortal Kombat game that's coming out. They completely rebuilt every Mortal Kombat game that they made. They don't ever use the exact same engine. I think for like Mortal Kombat 1, 2, and 3, they use the exact same engine, but they just made updates to it. But now they just completely remake the games. And for Pokemon Tournament, you know, this game has the potential to be good because of who it's being made by. 
but Nintendo at the same time will be like, well, you can't do this, you can't do that. It's okay if you do this, you know. This sound effect sounds like it hurts too much. Um, this combo here looks like it hurt. Maybe we shouldn't have, you know, back-breaking moves in the game and stuff like that. But at the same time, they have to realize that Pokemon is a violent game, no matter how you look at it. Like, the fact that it doesn't have a teen rating is beyond me. Because I believe Digimon games have teen ratings. And Digimon it doesn't even appear half as violent as Pokemon does. But that's the thing. They don't want the game to be too violent. But it's a fighting game, you know. Kids are still going to play a teen rated game. Especially if it's Pokemon. And the only reason they got a teen rating was because it's fighting. Then, you know, you go for it. And that's what they don't want to do. They, they don't want to, like, take that, that step. But it was said that this game was developed for the older Pokemon generation. You know, the people from my generation is who this game is being made for. But they have to keep in mind that, you know, Pokemon does have a large um, child following, but it also has a large adult following as well. So you have to um, make, you have to make adjustments for the people that you're marketing to. Like, it's not bad for a Pokemon game to have an adult following. Or, like, an, like they're developing the game for adults. But kids can also play it as well. Like, we're not going to see things like blood in this game. We're not going to see guns and stuff. We're not going to see, like, fatalities or anything in this game. This here is a Pokemon game being made by a Pokemon fan. And as a fan of Pokemon, we can't assume that they know what we want in this game. So they're not going to take Nintendo's IP and and ruin it. They're not going to do something that they wouldn't want. This is a fan making the game. But he also has an artistic vision that he wants for the game. And Nintendo has to allow that. Still, we don't want to see Pokemon games with the characters fighting Pokemon. Because that's not the reason we play Pokemon. We play Pokemon to make the Pokemon fight each other. That's the way that it, that's the way it should be. And I'm not sure, like, who approached who when it came to this. Like, if Nintendo approached um, Bandai Namco about this, then I guess it's a little different. Because Nintendo is asking somebody else to make them a Pokemon game. And I think the only reason why that would happen is because they see Tekken Tag Tournament 2 at EVO every year. So it's a very good game, and people want to see it played. But people also see Super Smash Brothers at EVO. I don't know if it's there every year, but it's there. There are tournaments for it. And this is like the biggest tournament of the year. So Nintendo could have possibly been like, you know, we can have a Pokemon game here at EVO as well. And it'll be cool because that'd be good advertising and all this other stuff. And plus, there's a lot, there's a, like, Pokemon has a bunch of fans. So, you know, how can that go wrong? But how it can go wrong is if they keep telling people, you can't do this, you can't do that. Like, the game not having um, a high mid, low mix-up system or block system can possibly kill the game before it even gets out. If you look at games like the um, like Dragon Ball Z and the Naruto Storm series, those don't have a high mid, low guard system. They have a one system block that blocks everything. Low attacks are blocked the exact same way as a high or mid attack. The animation purely is cosmetic and doesn't serve any real purpose for the game. But there's a reason why you don't see Naruto Storm Generations at EVO. There's a reason you don't see Dragon Ball Z at EVO. And that's because those games are just not that fun to watch. Sure, if you have friends over and you can play it, then you'll play it. I'm not saying the game can't be played at a competitive level because it can. I've seen it played at a competitive level. But the way it works is people vote in the games that they want to see. People want to see Super Smash Bros. People want to see Tekken. Nobody wants to see Naruto because they, because there's there are no mix-ups in it. And that's a big deal. Now this might be different for Pokemon. And Pokemon Tournament could possibly see um, a shot at EVO. But it might be like a one a one year thing. And that all depends on how they develop the game. And they should be wanting to cater to the competitive game fighters. Because 
the casual gamers are just that. They're casual gamers. They're not going to want to play the game at a higher level. But you have people that want to play the game at a higher level. And that should be the people you are making the game for. You're making it for the competitive gamer in mind. But the casual players can also play it. Like, Pokemon Tournament isn't going to be super technical. And that's kind of one of my gripes with Tekken sometimes. Is that it's a very technical game. Street Fighter, I don't think it's as technical as Tekken. I've never actually played one of the re more recent Street Fighters. So I don't know too much. But the fact that um, Tekken has that third dimension you can move in. And certain attacks that work with that dimension, depending on which side of the screen you're on, makes the game very technical. I don't want to see Pokemon Tournament as being a super technical game, but I want it to be to where it has things that you can actually learn for the game. And if they're going to take that aspect away from the game, because Nintendo doesn't want to be as competitive as, you know, Tekken, then that may be a problem. Like, I think the way this is going to turn out is we will see Pokemon Tournament at EVO next year, or this year coming up. We will see Pokemon Tournament there. But that may be the one year that it's there if they don't make this game the right way. Now, if you look at the screenshots, you know, I've always wanted to see Machamp in a fighting game. Just because, you know, Pokemon with four arms, that, that's cool. It's probably because um, of Goro in Mortal Kombat. And that's probably the reason why I want to see Machamp. But I've always wanted to see Pokemon in a different field where they have fully fledged movesets and can actually work, um, the, work the game engine that they're in. Like, I don't know if Pokemon are going to have, what, over 100 moves? I know characters in Tekken have over 100 moves. Um, Lei, I believe, has like six over 600, and that's insane. But I don't think we're going to see moves that much in the game just because. But if they do, then that then that's good. It makes the character even better. And people who have favorite Pokemon that they would play in the game, they can get even more in-depth with that character. But Nintendo has to allow Harada to make this game the way he wants to. But, you know, other than that, I haven't really been hearing any other news that's been going on. Like, we get the same thing that's been out for months now, that the game is 30% done in development. But that's pretty much that. I mean, we don't know anything else. There's nothing on Twitter. Nintendo's not talking about it. And I really want Nintendo to talk about this game because I don't want it to seem like the game was just abandoned. That's what it feels like right now is that the game was just abandoned by Nintendo. There's no there's no more word on it. I would have expected to hear something about it, a new screenshot, something. But we're all just here left to speculate about what's going to happen. Hopefully Nintendo picks up the pace on this like, very soon because... People like me are very interested to know about this game, and we really want to know what characters are going to be in the game. You all know who I want to see in the game, and I'm just, I'm just, I'm just too, I'm just too eager for this. I want to see something else about it. But I guess that's all I got for you guys today, just on this video, just a small update. Um, if you like the video, do like it and subscribe to my channel because I'm going to be covering poking tournament all throughout its development and leave comments below anything that you think they might want to put in this game or just what you think any of the other 19 ideas that they were that they had for it and just always check back because i'm going to be doing stuff like this all the time and as always thank you for watching my video and i will see you all in the next one